hello friends in this video i will show you how can we use css to produce mark v effect mark v we know that the animation tag basically mark v tag has been deprecated in html5 so we have to use css3 key uh, animation properties in order to create the <coughs> mark v so how can we create the mark v effect uh, let us take an example and i am going to create a css mark v effect so how can we do this i am going to create the layout in which i will practically implement how can we uh, produce the mark v effect so let us start i have uh, already talked about these kind of uh, elements in my uh, previous videos you can see and learn how can we use these elements so first my header element second my side element and third my main elements in my header element i am going to provide the height of uh, 150 pixels and i am going to produce the color to red sorry background color background color to red and i'm going to save on the desktop uh, mark v demo and uh, i am going to open my output in my favorite browser my google chrome and uh, also uh, a sidebar a sidebar i am going to provide the minimum height minimum height up to 500 pixels and uh, the width is uh, 300 pixels and the background color is green and let us see what will happen look at this and the next thing is main now in my main uh, i am going to provide uh, the minimum height to 500 pixels and uh, background color to orange and uh, what i need to do is uh, providing margin left to 300 pixels and look at this now what we have to do uh, we have to provide float left and look at this i have created my layout and now what i want to do i want to show my uh, news my latest events in this one in the mark v effect so what i need to do i am in the aside section i will provide the unordered list that will contain some list item with some anchor elements and anchor elements contains my news or latest events suppose this is my latest event quick brown fox jumps over the little lazy dog let us copy paste three four five and six these are my events and look at this what will happen it is displaying in this area so what we have to do in my aside there is an order list in my unordered list there is a list item and in my aside unordered list list item there is an anchor tag so let us uh, produce some one by one by one the events. color is white and uh, the text uh, decoration to none look at this the effect fine remove the bullets okay fine we can remove the bullets by providing list style to none fine the padding we need to remove how can we do that we are going to remove the padding fine now one more thing in my list item every list item have a padding of 10 pixel amazing now the next thing is i am going to provide a attractive font family that is vardana this is looking good now what i want i need an underline so that it will separate all the news so how can we do that i am going to provide a border bottom one pixel solid and white fine 
my news is ready now I am going to animate this news how can we do this so first of all I have to create an animation animation how can we create the animation we have can create the animation by using keyframes and I am going to provide the name to the animation is anim we have provide this will change from this to this so what will be changing what will change I am providing the position to absolute and providing the bottom value to 0 and from this one from minus 100 percent to positive 100 percent now look at this uh, nothing will happen uh oh after providing this thing position absolute we have one another problem my element is going to outside this one so this can be solved by providing parent component the position we are going to provide the parent component that is here we can see the parent component of unordered list is aside i am going to provide the same thing absolute to my parent component and look at this now this is ready that is available now what i have to do i have created an animation and i have to use this in this way how can we do that animation i want to animate my whole unordered list with its list items so the name of the animation is anim the duration to complete the animation is four second and it will be a linear animation and that will continue in finite time and let us take how it works okay basically it's going after the area right so this can be solved by providing overflow sorry not in this way because unordered list is getting outside the side so we can control this overflow system to overflow hidden that means whenever the content of the a sidebar is getting extra it will be hidden now look at this overflow hidden okay this is the effect of overflow hidden the content after the area will not be displayed so it will be hidden so what i want to do whenever i hover over my cursor the animation should pause animation should pause how can we do this animation sorry my a sidebar you will hover effect will animation play state to pause and uh, i am reloading the page and look at this you can see fine if you have any problem news one and this is my news two so in this way let's talk oh this is my news i can click and go to wherever we want to go so this is how can we create the marquee effect with the help of css i hope you enjoy this video and uh, you have learned a lot of things so thanks for watching this video and uh, have fun. Thanks a lot.